Pascal law. Uh, Pascal law state that if you apply pressure in a fluid system, it will um, it will go uh, all over the places equally. For example, if you apply pressure in a bottle like this, uh, say you apply P is one psi then it will be one psi everywhere imagine that this fluid does not have any weight if you consider the weight as you can tell here a little bit more pressure than there because of the weight of the fluid now on the same level though you'll have same pressure here as you apply whatever you apply here so um, what Pascal law says if this is point 0.1 and then this is point 0.2 then what he says is pressure at point 0.1 is equal to pressure at point 0.2 so we can convert this to let's say we know that pressure is forced by area forced by area so as you can see we can write F2 by F1 is basically A2 by A1. So as you can see that this force is proportional to area. So if you increase the area, you could get some advantage of... Um, um, if you increase the area, you could get advantage of um, force. Uh, F, we can write A proportional to area like this um, so that's one relationship we can find we can prove this here now imagine that um, this area a1 is one inch square and then uh, area 2 is two inch square so if we use this equation you can see uh, uh, so 10 inch square it's not 2 it's 10 inch just for easier understanding so it will be 10 times so more force so at point 1 f1 is basically 1 psi times 1 inch square so it's basically 1 pound force and then f2 will be 1 psi same psi based on Pascal law times the um, area square so uh, 10 inch square area so it's going to be 10 pounds as you can see if you increase the area 10 times then the force increases 10 times like that we can develop some more equation as you can see the continuity law states that whatever velocities displace at any uh, fluid system uh, velocity in point the total volume at point one will be total volume so say we have a cork and then we kind of displace the cork like here so the amount of fluid displaced here will be has to go somewhere here so say it increases the volume like that so in that case we can we can write this the velocity cylindrical velocity cylindrical volume sorry no, this is not velocity volume volume we can write area times the distance or area times the height uh, s2 so we can write this one basically a1 by a2 is equal to um, s2 by s1 now if you replace this relationship right here we can write that uh, a1 by a2 is f1 by f2 is equal to s2 by s1 now these um, um, relationship um, we um, I prefer using uh, basic um, so for example if we have to do something with this uh, volume or um, volume displacement or continuity equation as you can see as you have seen before this is basically continuity equation continuity equation 
So we can develop some more uh, relationship if we want. Um, but most of the time it is easy to use the starting from basic then to use these equations because this only apply for cylindrical volume and most of the fluid stuffs they are pipes they are more like a cylinder like this so we can actually generalize this equation in many situations anyway the the purpose of this video to explain Pascal law and kind of develop some more relationships from there